assess these standardized residual covariances. Now these standardized residual covariances indicate the standardized differences between the proposed covariances based on the model and the observed covariances computed based on the collected data. So it's just the difference between your proposed covariances and what you have actually observed based on your data. Now significant values of standardized covariances indicate significant differences in covariances because the proposed model based on computed covariance and observed covariances and affects the overall good fit. So if, if there is a disparity between the observed and proposed covariances, then you will have problems with your overall model fit. Although the standardized residual covariances are like modification indices, they can directly be addressed through deletion of the concerned item. If, you've, if a particular item is showing a greater or higher standardized residual covariance, you can delete the item. Therefore, the significant standardized residuals may be treated only after taking care of modification indices. Finally, and most importantly, look for standardized residual covariances or the estimates that are greater than two to identify particular covariances which seem associated with significant discrepancies of the given model from a perfect model. So if your standardized residual covariance for a particular item is greater than two, you might consider deleting that particular item. Now look at the properties, analysis properties, go to output. Yes, we need standardized estimates. Yes, we need squared multiple correlation, residual moments. There is no OK button. You just press cross and the selection is saved. Now you click calculate estimates. Now here are your results. By the look of it, it looks pretty high and your chi-square is significant. So the model fit is not that good. But still, this is a high sample size, so that might be an issue. So let's look at the model fit first. Is the model fit good? Look at the C-min. This should be less than 5. So this is greater than 5. Look at the AGFI and GFI, less than 0 0.90. Look at the CFI, less than 0 0.90. Look at the TLI, less than 0 0.90. Look at RMSEA, way over 0 0.08. We need to improve this model. Now what we need to do now is let's go to estimates, matrices, standardized residual covariances. Standardized residual covariances, look at this, 2, 4, 2. So SL3 is one of the indicators in servant leadership that is causing an issue. So let's remove SL3. How do you remove it? Select this cross button and we go to SL3 and we remove it. Now let's run the model and see how it goes. Look at this. Look at your model fit. Well, yes, this is improved. This is quite good. Improved. This is good. This is not very good. Look at RMSCA. Well, no, this is poor. Let it look at the estimates again. Standardized regression. Well, this is again pretty low. So we can remove this as well if you want. Let's look at standardized residual covariances. Well, this is SL6, still quite problematic. The rest actually looks quite fine, yep, apart from this one. So shall I delete all of them from servant leadership or we can delete from FP as well? Because this is a covariance. So if you are deleting too many items from the single construct, that might affect your validity. So let's remove FP5 and let's remove SL6, FP5 and SL6. Now when I run the model, I'm going to get an error. Rather than an error, it's an anomaly. Your model did run, but look at the chi-square value. Why? Because you did not fix the parameter. You have to create a reference point. So we deleted that indicator that had the reference point. So in this case, now double click on this one go to parameters and fix the parameter to 1 because this will serve as a reference point. Now run your model. Now you can look at your model. Go to model fit. Well, this is good. Very close to 0.9. Very good. Very good. Very good. Look at RMSCA. Well, this is quite poor. Let's look at SRMR. So what we do is we go to plugins and standardized RMR. Now what you need to do is rerun your model and look at this 0 0.03. This is very good. Other than RMSEA, all other indicators or all other indicators for model fit are good. 
So you can say that you've got a reasonable fit for your model.